it isn't just about the money. We could we could have like a hundred million pounds to spend, but you could spend that money unwisely, and exactly. you're not going to be any better off. So it's not just about the value of the money that we have available. It's the type and quality of players because you yeah. could get somebody for a, a couple of million that's absolutely outstanding. <laughs> So welcome back to Small Leith Alliance FC. And as we're currently in the early parts of the summer transfer window, um, there's lots of speculation going on about different types of players that we're going to sign and all sorts of things happening. And there was a recent um, uh, article uh, published by, I think it was The Sun on Sunday, uh, stating that uh, Birmingham City would have a £20 million transfer budget for this season, which would be enormous uh, for League One. But of course... It's speculation, we don't know. It was actually record, uh, reported also uh, at Birmingham Live uh, as well. But we don't know if it's genuine. We don't know if, you know, Blues have got that much money to spend. But we thought we'd have a chat in this video about the the risk of letting other teams know what your transfer budget is if it does turn out to be within that area. So uh, question to Matt, really, you know, what what do you think about that? You know, do you think after all the way that Birmingham City have gone about appointing Chris Davis, it's all being kept quiet, do you really think that they would just somehow, through the media, um, make it known what their transfer budget is? Yeah, th this has got sort of two mates in a pub all over it, having a, <laughs> ha having a chat and leaking a conversation, hasn't it? I don't think this has come from the club or any, any yeah. official channels. I mean, who knows? I guess only time will tell. However, we are being linked with a few five, six million rumours. Again, all rumours, nothing official, nothing concrete. So the rumours are there for sort of a couple of four, five, I think sort of six million pound transfers. But a 20 million budget in League One is absolutely monstrous. And, you know, we've just done 15 million worth of um, work on the stadium when you include like the sound system and the catering and everything that's been going on. And you add 20 million on top of that. These owners, these owners are very serious, aren't they? It puts into context you know, how serious they are, how quickly they want to get us out of League One. But to me, this cries, as I say, two mates having a drink or a leak or someone looking for a bit of attention. I don't think this has come down the official channels of the club. I don't, I don't think it has. Why, why would Birmingham City make it known what their what their transfer budget is? Yeah, The reason we're speaking about it is because it's getting a lot of traction uh, on social media, as things do, as rumours yeah, do, don't they? Of course they, they do. But I think it was, it's worth us, you know, just uh, sort of identifying that, you know, that there's a lot of rubbish on social media in terms of who said what and what's going to happen. And, you know, if you'd have believed social media, we would have had five managers before before Chris Davies. <laughs> yeah. It was ridiculous, wasn't it? <laughs> and I think I think this is um, you know, another one of those rumors that have, like you said, have just come from somewhere. Mm. Uh, it could even come from fans of other clubs because, you know, trying to sort of, you know, speculate that we're the big time Charlies and that uh, mm. trying to trying to make out that, you know, we've got a lot of money to spend. But mm. I mean, who knows? Every time you bid for a player, let's just say you bid five hundred thousand or a player's market value is five hundred thousand, they're immediately going to ask for seven fifty, one million because they know that you've got a £20 million budget. My point in saying that is you are going to get rinsed during every transfer negotiation or you're going to make every transfer negotiation that extra bit difficult because every club is going to try and squeeze every yeah. extra pound out of the negotiation. I mean, I think we'd, we'd obviously like to um, have uh, that amount of money like any other club, you know. They want lots of money to spend in the transfer market. But on the way that the Blues have gone around the appointment of the manager and the recruitment of the manager, it would not make... It literally, just saying, oh, we've got 20, would torpedo everything, wouldn't it? You know, I say, well, actually, it completely blows out the water all the yeah. good work they have in uh, appointing the manager. So to me, this is why I think this speculation is uh, is not right. But who knows? Although it's speculation, I actually think... The, the person who has mentioned it or the rumours and, and the gossip, I think it is in the right ballpark. And we have had comments on social media, Dad, in our videos asking, what do you think the transfer budget would be? And I actually responded, and this was off no science, off nothing at all. It was just in my brain at the moment. And I said somewhere between 15 and 20 million. It just came out the top of my head. And when you think about Knighthead, when you think about Wagner, everything they're doing, they want to get us out of League One quickly. They're doing all these investment uh, in the stadium, in the club, everything going on behind the scenes is incredible. If you want to blow League One out of the park, I think a 15 million to 20 million pound budget is is uh, 
not reasonable, but I think it's to be expected when you have serious owners. It isn't just about the money, though, is it, Matt? You know, you could you could have lots and lots of money to spend, but unless you use that money to buy the right type of players, of it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, and, you know, like you mentioned, you know, if, if it is known that Birmingham City have got lots of money to spend, all that's going to happen, the clubs that we want to buy the players off are just going to make negotiations yeah. so tough. And that add, they'll, they'll inflate the value of, yeah. the, uh, of the players, and it'll make it really difficult to get deals over the line. If you want a classic case of clubs who just throw money at the wall to see what sticks, Look at Chelsea and Man United. Yeah. The classic examples of paying over market, uh, overinflated prices for players, not having the success that they ever thought they would get from that, those investments. I mean, what what was that player from Brighton, uh, Casa um, uh, Casado, hundred yeah. million? Yeah. What was that about? You know. But my point in saying that is, you can't just throw money at the wall and see what sticks. You have to do scouting. You have to, you know, see the. Um, character of the player you have to see what the player is made of you have to you know we talk about passion and desire and determination have they got those characteristics so you can't just say here's a striker for 7 million you have to look at his personality Do, yeah. does he fit in with the squad does he fit in with Chris Davies's mission and future of the club and if he doesn't regardless of the money it becomes, it becomes irrelevant doesn't it well I know that Chris Davies is big on data analysis as well isn't he that's, that's his background particularly when he was at Liverpool so uh, from what I've read there's a lot of um, you know research going into prospective players in relation to yeah. their data analytics. It's kind of the money ball theory. Yeah. yeah. So in, in America, there was that famous film with Brad Pitt and, and they, they base their team around statistics as opposed to uh, going for superstars and market value. Yeah. And actually they did very well. Uh, you know, so, so it's that thing. I think Blues are taking a more data-driven uh, approach their transfers, aren't they? Yeah, it, and I think that's the way to get players nowadays is to actually sort of really analyse them. So it isn't just about the money. I mean, we could we could have like a hundred million pound to spend, but you could spend that money unwisely, and exactly. you're not going to be any better off. So it's not just about the value of the money that we have available; it's the type and quality of players. Because you yeah. could get somebody for a, a couple of million that's absolutely outstanding. Mm -hmm. You know, that that is a, a shining, you know, or, or bright star for the future. And I think they're the type of players that we'll go for. But to me. You know, I know this. The reason that we brought this to this video actually and added a chat because it was reported in Birmingham Live. They had an article, um, which but but they they quote the Sun mm -hmm. as the uh, as the uh, oh, as the sun. source. Uh, well, yeah, but uh, I think the importance of this is that even if we have got that amount of money to spend, it's not about the actual total amount. It's about the quality and the way we go about recruiting. Yeah. And of course, as well, um, if players and their agents know that Birmingham have got lots of money, then when they're negotiating their salaries, they're going to increase them. That's going to make deals even harder. So it doesn't make to me any practical sense for the club to leak that how much money or how much budget it is. Like that's right, this has come from another so this this in my opinion has not come from the club. No. It, it, not not to use a football pun on a football podcast, but it'd be a huge own goal. To, 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 to release how much money you have to invest in, in, in the summer, especially in League One, because as you say, we are going to be uh, snooping around certain areas and certain teams, and they're just going to overinflate the price. The salaries yeah. are going to be overinflated. Yeah. Everything, we're going to have to pay through the roof. But, you know, we're, we are a well-run club now. We do have Knighthead. Chris Davies has got the backing of Wagner and, and the board. So I trust them. I really do trust them. I think we're going to get some brilliant transfers through the door. And as you said, because Chris Davies is an analytical man, he's a data-driven man, we will get those kind of players and yeah. the personality traits that we were missing from last season. Yeah, as well. And also, as well, as far as the transfer budget goes, I don't think Blues could actually say exactly what it would be anyway, even if they wanted to let everybody know, because now it depends on what money they get in as well. Because mm -hmm. obviously, yeah, JJ is muted at being, what, you know, 7 to 10 million. If, yeah. if we get anything like that for him, that's going to add to the amount of money we've got. We might get sort of money for other players that move on as well. So actually, you know, the amount of uh, money that the club decide to spend in the transfer window is really down to all these factors. But something that, that I felt was, um, was going to be key is that we know that we're going to get decent players or we're going to target decent players because... There was talk, Gary Cook was talking about getting a championship ready yeah. team. So we're not buying players just for League One. We're looking to recruit players of a higher level that can make that transition into the championship much, much smoother. I mean, Ryan Alsop is a classic example. Fair yeah. enough, he's the first transfer through the door. Lots of positives on one side who really like the transfer, lots of underwhelm on the right. However, it proves that Cook is right in the context of getting a championship ready team. He made 38 appearances last season for a team that finished seventh just outside the playoffs. Yeah. That's a massive drop for a player of that calibre yeah. to come down. So we're going to see more transfers like this as we go through it. And Dad, you've hit the nail on the head. It's not about the money, it's about the style of player, the characteristics they have. Mm -hmm. And what they're going to bring to this fantastic club? Yeah, exactly. So, so for me, you know, this I believe is speculation in terms of the value. But one thing that is undeniable 
is that this club is going to recruit decent players. You can you just know that yeah. we're going to get better players in, better quality. And to me, not as a fan, the the, the value in terms of it's not irrelevant because obviously the value is linked to the quality standards of player. But I'm not going to hang my, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, hat on the the fact that oh, we've got twenty million pounds to spend because. I don't think that is the key thing here. It's like with yeah. all the points we've already mentioned, Disney not it, really? I mean, if you're putting your logical head on, I mean, don't don't get carried away as a Birmingham City supporter and uh, get, no. get, get, get caught up in the magic. But uh, uh, if you are using logic, Dad, I'm going to ask you, let's just say you're in the boardroom, Wagner and Cook are talking or the board are talking. Do you think between 15 and 20 million is actually a reasonable number for yeah. this club this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I do. But also, as well, you got to remember, Matt, we're in League One as well, so you might have that amount of money to spend. But getting the quality and standards of players that you want to get might not be possible mm-hmm. because they might not want to come down to League One. So actually, you might have an amount of money available to spend. And don't forget that that amount of money, whatever the budget is, is going to include wages as well and mm-hmm. agent fees and everything else. So it's yeah, not yeah. just about the the value that we would see the play or the exchange between club to club going to be everything that's included yeah. so nowadays you know you would argue that that money doesn't go as far as it used to because players are more expensive salaries are more expensive um etc yeah. uh, all i care about for our club is that um that we uh go the right way about getting the right type of quality of players for all the reasons we talked about last season where we were looking at players and not feeling that they were committed to the club the, in some cases they just weren't bothered yeah, didn't care. we don't want that in our club so however the club go about changing that that's what matters to me. Mm-hmm. Not the fact that we've got 20, 30, 40, whatever million pounds. Yeah, it wouldn't yeah. make any it difference. It could be a blank check. Yes. If, if you're not getting the right type of players in yeah. with the right characteristics and improving on last season, what's the point? You know, the the, the it, only it, positive it, thing is, uh, is that it's nice that we have owners now that would be willing to back the manager properly. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what we haven't had that for a long, long time. So uh, yeah. that's the positive thing for me. And so. also, I, I, I think I said this earlier in the video, I trust the board. I trust Chris Davies. I think he's going to get the exact players in that he wants. And just a moment of realisation here, you know, we are a League One side. We are going to lose players to championship teams. We are going to lose uh, yeah. players who want to go abroad or play international. Sorry, uh, in international leagues. So, you know, let's not get too downhearted if we're rumoured with you know, you Scott Twines and all these, and they end up going to other clubs because that's the nature of being in League One. That's the harsh reality of getting relegated uh, to the third tier of English football. However, I have no doubt we're going to still have some pulling power. This is a fantastic club. We're on the rise. We do have budget. We've got a fantastic young manager who's progressive. This club is going to change its style of football. I think it's an exciting time to be a Blues fan. It's an exciting time to be a player at this club if they want to join. And I have no doubt we're going to get some fantastic players and signings uh, in during this summer. Yeah, to- totally agree. And I think you'll agree, Blues fans, that you know, no level of money guarantees promotional success. None. We've seen that as Manchester, Matt's mentioned uh, Chelsea and Manchester United and the way they recruit, spending millions and millions and millions of pounds over X Hundred, amount of years. Hundreds of millions at that level. Oh, yeah, hundreds of millions of pounds and still not being successful. So the value of the transfer budget isn't really the point, is it? It's more about how we go about recruiting the players and getting the right type and quality of players. So uh, let us know your thoughts in the uh, in the comments below. Just to reiterate, you know, this we're only talking about speculation of the transfer budget that was reported. Uh, we don't, for uh, any moment, um, have any um, sort of uh, positive thoughts that that is actually true or not, but it's worth us identifying and talking about that because um, the important factor is is that it's about how we get our players, not how much we pay for them. So anyway, let us know your comments in the, uh, the below this video. Uh, let us know your thoughts uh, on that. And uh, if you uh, want to let us know uh, of any um, players that you uh, uh, think that we should go and sign, then uh, put them in the comments below as well. Um, if you did like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't checked us out on our social media channels already, uh, make sure you go to our X page and our Instagram page and you'll see those handles appearing on the screen right now. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any future content all about Birmingham City. And myself and Matt will see you on the next video.